guess who actually woke up this morning, dude, uh, dude, uh, and Grant joined me too. He's on a call. Look at this. That's a beautiful sight. It's a brisk 46, but it feels good. And Grant came on this run with me. Isn't that beautiful? Earhart's are like right over there. Big kid is going in his seat. Um, it is complete and utter nonsense that he's just such a big old kid. Baby. Look at him. You can you can like adjust the angle of this, but we need to keep it back a little bit so he just kind of lays. Yeah. But he fits it. Yeah. And he likes us a lot more. I, oh, I mean, he's only been for like <laughs> three minutes, but I'm. The idea of him being able to be nosy and see everything while he chews on Mickey's toes. Right, compared to the bassinet. Means the world. Look at him grabbing that little bar. You're the most adorable thing in the whole world. <laughs> Look at that. We just took the seat off like that. So easy to go for the three foot. <laughs> well, how easy was it, Grant, to carry that uh, stroller up here? Donkey stroll. <laughs> we call it. <laughs> oh yeah, Christina and Grant are fancy like that. And they're letting me make an espresso pot. Some fancy fanciness right here. Nothing better than some cozy cousin time before we go downtown for dinner. To the loop to have a little picnic at the park. Taking a stroll for the first time on the CTA. That's yeah, a new one. I've never been on the CTA elevator. They're kind of creepy. Kind of? <laughs> Very creepy from being honest. Jamesy boy drifted off to sleep just as we turned on to Michigan Avenue. Oh, it's a beautiful sight. This is one of my favorite views. We have not been to the Art Institute in forever. We're gonna get passes to everything. <gasps> oh. Which is cool because there's the Museum of Science and Industry. Yeah. But that is technically, if you look at the fine print, if you are a field museum annual <laughs> pass or member, whatever they're called, you get access to Museum of Science and Industry. Wow. So then we're gonna get the shed. Field, Art Institute. And we're gonna get Harley bikes. Look at this uh, cloud gate, aka the bean. You can't go close to it because of the global pandemic, which is probably safe and smart. We had our first, like, so we dated in high school. We became boyfriend and girlfriend. And our first, like, real date. We came here and like sat right here and we got food and we watched these little choir sing Christmas songs. Yeah. It was like snowy and cold. What a time to be alive. I messed up our dinner. I didn't bring the vegetables. They're in the air fryer. They're in the for air fryer. For our veggie sandwiches. But I still have a bunch of guacamole. And chips and pasta yeah. salad. Yeah. So there's plenty of So we'll just need a snack later. Yeah. But look at this, like there's some cool, uh, like it's open and they're like, Chicago, I saw it's got like a 2.68% positivity rate, so doing really yeah. well. Mm -hmm. But like there's, there's, they've even limited some of the benches and tables, but there are some benches over there that are open. Yeah. So it's like open, but modified, so it's great. Alrighty, so here's our little dinner on the go. We're just gonna make open face avocado bread instead of the veggie sandwiches. Just fine. Some chips, <laughs> it's okay. Well, look at this. I could be wrong. Two things are wrong. One, we're gonna destroy this place this summer if they bring back, like during the summer they have like movies projected here and you can be in this huge lawn. Mm -hmm. They have concerts for you. 
And then I gotta show the one. What? It's close. Certain about is I'm fairly certain, like a 95% positive. The architect who designed this is the same architect that designed the Walt Disney. I can tell you a hundred percent. In California. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Take that. <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> you love it? Look what he's looking at. Look at it. What's not to love about that? <laughs> this is your home! Look at these two. We got a hat on them, we got a blanket. Ooh, cozy. He's ready for a cozy night in the town. What? Oh, yeah, it's so good. He also does not like constrictions, like his ears, or his legs, or his feet. Oh, guys, oh, guys. They haven't even cleared this from Christmas. That's where the tree goes. I think what it was, I think it got like too frozen. Yeah, and, and then it snowed. Yeah. It's kind of nice, but kind of also sad. <laughs> Guess what is across the street that we will go to again, just not anytime like right now. The Pittsfield Cafe. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, there it is. There's a sign. Wait. Let me drop my shoulder. Wait, fuck. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, back. <laughs> there. That sign right there, it says Pittsfield Cafe inside lobby. We've been there before, been but there it's even more before. special now because Phil and somebody beat Phil, he went there too. Primark opens March 11th at 10 a.m. Another almost apartment. This building right here, that one, state in, what do we have, state in Washington? We almost rented a studio up there. Just a studio, so we would have had to like, don't Pitch even, everything. Like, all of our stuff. We yeah. just been like Sarah, James, Eve, and me, just like, we would have been On our it. couch. On, our couch would not have been. <laughs> one piece of our couch would have been. But it would have been worth it. It would have been cool. It would have been. It literally straight up says Holiday Lane. Yeah. What? This almost looks like it's gonna be year round. Cause look, it's got all the. I think. I think stuff. it is. I love this. I will say the only thing I'm worried about is if this is architecturally made and they put that sign to say Holiday Lane. If this is all Holiday Lane is next holiday it's typically like typically, what like 10 times the size of this like no joke yeah i think we have photos we might be able to find somewhere but we've made it to our very favorite holiday place in all of chicago holiday lane at macy's usa chicago illinois she found christmas socks this is so cool shy town yeah okay santa flying over uh the skyline i love that I love this one too with the sailboats and the bridges and the bean and Navy Pier and this one too. Guys, this is where we did our wedding registry. Yeah. We came here after Peter had been awake for like 24 hours. I remember you being exhausted. like exhausted, but we were like, we're doing this and we had so much fun. And we have spent many, many, many days here just like walking around and enjoying. This is like our Disney Springs right. for Chicago. Well, think. We came here on our first date, the same day I was telling you guys about it, Millennium Park. I got my wedding dress here. Um, we always come here for Christmas to look at the windows. Like, just our place. It is. What um, you're looking for? I like, because they redid it, I don't know where everything is. It's that way. Okay. You can get to the um, you can get to the subway through this basement. That's why we came in here. But I also want to see the chocolate candy area. Oh my goodness. Oh, so good. You can smell it. Well, this is blocked 
off. I'll just have to go back outside. Um, elevator was broken, so we had to break him down. <laughs> Worked out fine. Worked out perfectly fine, yeah. The workers were our friends. Yeah, and they were loving Sarah's shoes because she's wearing her Chicago Vans. Yeah, like her Chicago debut. Yeah. Oh, you haven't worn them yet downtown? <laughs> Ew. And someone's just like munching on Mickey Mouse's head. <laughs> the most fun thing Boo. to I don't know what Boo. I don't know what the Boo. most fun thing to do to at the end of the night is to finalize your taxes Sarah and I never finalized our taxes so we're gonna finish up we were like 90% there so we're just cleaning up some, some of Sarah's 1099s and then we're gonna send it off to the IRS and say take all our money right freelance life alrighty daily message the 9th of March. My life is my message. Mahatma Gandhi. So I just found out, well, our friend Amy Benfield posted it on our Facebook discussion group that she saw it. And then I went to my Disney store, like Facebook group that like you had to be like a past or previous, past or current Disney store cast member to be a part of. And it's true. The State Street Disney store, the one we just went into the other day, will be closing on or before March 23rd. Oh my that's wild. Yeah. I remember when that was announced. Yeah. That's such prime real estate. I know. That just goes to show the the real effect of COVID. Yeah. Two nights in a row, we were in bed before midnight. Yeah. Yesterday we were in bed before 11. But yeah. Today it's just before midnight. But we're doing it. Yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>